Now, as someone has been so open about their own health journey, what does being your best self look like to you as you continue down this road? Ooh, my best self is like definitely someone who's living a healthy lifestyle, um, which is both like physically and mentally. And so I'm always kind of working to to improve things there. And then um, like working hard, but playing hard as well. Yes. So like in senior year, we shot it in Atlanta. Ooh, it was hot. And uh, but we worked our asses off. But then we also had the best fun, like just going to the movies or um, going for walks and going to the park and, and things in our, in our breaks that were like really like like special to me. I had the hot boyfriend, and all that was left was prom queen. <laughs> It's been a mistake and I've been put in the wrong room. Dr. Johnson to the third floor. The cheerleader just woke up. You brought me back, girl. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's our aim. I because this it. movie works for like kids who are currently kids. I think mean, kids who are like kids in the 90s, 2000s. It's so true. Uh, got I mean, a lot of nostalgia in this film. There's so many moments that I was like feeling very nostalgic as you put it. But what was it like for you? How much fun did you have? Not only going back to high school, but like reliving the early aughts. What a great era. Oh, I just had the best fun. Like the but the first time I put on those low rise jeans <laughs> and like and like the outfit that Britney Spears wears in the crazy video, I was like, ooh, I don't like, oh, did I used to wear clothes like this? Yeah, right. Um, but I really liked I had one hairstyle where I had all these little butterfly clips and then I put like glitter roll on all over me and I, like, I was like really feeling myself um in in that outfit but it was really fun to go back and just also listen to all that pop music from from back then that's in the film and it was just like it was yeah it was so much fun um mm -hmm. and also just reliving highs so like going back to high school i've had so many dreams where that's happened and then i'm really? like now it's just like my dream where i go back to high school and but maybe it's it part reality because I feel like some things from that era they're coming back, you know, fashion wise, music wise. But speaking of music, I love that the movie ended with that Bewitched song, Say La Vie. It's like, oh, have... how cute is that song? It's so cute. I'm like, oh my God, I still remember all the words to it. That's what's so crazy about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I want to talk to you about recreating the You Drive Me Crazy video. I mean, why was Britney like the perfect song choice for that scene? Well, like we had to get Britney's permission and I was really nervous about, um, oh my gosh, I hope she she knows like we're paying homage to her uh, uh, with this. And and it was really awesome that, that, that she did give permission to do it. And I just thought um, there were some Britney songs that we'd already done in like Pitch Perfect and, right. uh, and stuff, but Crazy uh, was just such a cool song and such an iconic video clip where they're like dancing and, uh, um, and I just, I just thought, oh, that would be really cool to recreate. And we recreated that exact set uh, and did it. And what was weird is like, I didn't really like practice that much. Just you when didn't? I shot it, I tried to just like channel Britney. Mm -hmm. And then so, weirdly, um, our director, Alex Hardcastle was like, oh my God, you were like so Britney. And in certain takes, wow. I like really just, I believed I was her in, in the thing. <laughs> That's and it amazing. comes off like really funny, I think. No, but you're you're so in it. And like you guys really did a good job of recreating that. Even when it cut to you as like the, what is it? Like the, the, the diner server. The waitresses, like, yeah. Oh, I was like, you nailed yeah. it. Yeah, and Denny, that was our last day of shooting. And it was like 110 degrees in Atlanta. <laughs> oh and, uh, but you know, once they pumped that Britney music, I was just like loving it and wanted to give it my all. She has that power, right? You just are yeah. overcome with like Brit Brit. I love it. Yeah. Um, now, obviously in this movie, your character wakes from a 20 year coma to relive their senior year. If you could do a do over of anything from high school, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> probably uh, my hair choices. Uh, <laughs> somehow I had bangs, but like, they're not like normal bangs. Like now they were only like an inch long, like a super short fringe. Yep. And I was like, eh. Wow. Um, also, like I was really feral in, in high school and didn't really have any fashion sense or I really didn't care. I went to an all girls school. We didn't really care what we looked like. Um, so I would probably learn something about uh, about makeup. Like my character does makeup tutorials in the film and uh, I would probably learn something about 
presenting myself nicely. Oh. I was more concerned about like getting top marks and getting into law school, Me which too. worked, you know, worked out great. But um, <laughs> in hindsight, every time I look back at pictures of me, I was like, what was I thinking? Like, I looked shocking. Did, you did share that you were also a bit of a prankster in high school. Is it true that you locked a teacher in a cupboard? Yeah, I did. I, I locked a mean English teacher in a cupboard. Oh, so they deserved it. Uh, yeah. I, well, <laughs> I mean, it was probably a bit harsh because she cried when she was locked in the cupboard. Oh, no. Left there for like four hours. Um, but and and then one time like i would i would break into the canteen do you guys have school canteens that sell the food the cafeterias yes, yes. like um and and then i so i would do some naughty things organize the escapes from the boarding house where i lived there was a boys school like across the river and like we would escape oh, out um and so i would do like cheeky things one cheeky prank i did to the teachers is i smoking was very uh, like banned at our school it was like the worst thing you could do so I um, I stood in the parking lot pretending to smoke. It wasn't a real cigarette. It was like one of those fake ones. Um, and then the teachers got all angry and said, we're going to expel you. And I'm like, you can't. It's not a real cigarette. Not a real cigarette. Ah. <laughs> and then <laughs> so just cheeky little things like that. So you were a bit mischievous, huh? Even though you were also getting good marks. Yeah, I was a good student, so they could never expel me. That's but the way to do it. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I loved about this movie, though, is that, you know, that message, the takeaway about uh, living authentically and just trying to be the best version of yourself. I mean, how does it feel to be part of a film that really speaks to how we perceive each other and this whole idea of like fitting in, especially when you're young and in high school? Yeah, well, what uh, what I really loved about this film and this cast is like it's so inclusive, yes. um, in, in all areas, and 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 the message of the film that my character learns is like, firstly, like high school doesn't define you, and also mm. like to just be your real self, like don't try to be somebody else to to fit in. Um, oh wait, and what was the second part of your question? Just this idea, like you know, the fact that they're really showing us how you don't need to fit in. It's like be unique because that's what's yeah. so special outside of Well, the my world. character has a quote in the film, like why fit in when you can stand out? Exactly. And I really, really like that. My friend Brandon Scott Jones wrote that, who is on Ghosts, is one of the oh. leading ghosts. He is a very funny writer and, but also poignant. And that line is like, yeah, why would you want to fit in when you can stand out? And in Australia, like sadly, a lot of us are taught like, you have to just be normal and don't don't stand out in any way. But wow. uh, I was someone who was different and or wanted to go out into the world and crush it. And so I, I was different and unique and I had to learn to to embrace that about myself. And so I hope, especially the young people watching, um, they can they can get a really nice message. I love that.